Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's discuss something very important. The pitfalls or the drawbacks of replacing DevOps engineers with AI systems or AI agents. So to be honest, you must have heard of this on the internet. Some people advocating of replacing DevOps engineers with AI agents. Not to the matter of fact, in today's world, people have been using AI agents in the CI/CD systems. They have been using AI agents to create infrastructure. All of this is good until you have human in the loop. That is, until you have a DevOps engineer in the loop. The moment you pick out DevOps engineer out of this loop and you allow AI agents to autonomously build the systems or fix the systems, that is where the actual problems start. Now, many of you have been asking the same question. Can AI replace DevOps engineers? Some people have been advocating this as well. In today's video, I will talk about five important drawbacks of this approach and why you should never replace a DevOps engineer with AI agent. This is going to be a very useful video. Make sure you watch it till the end. The first drawback is the governance problem. Now, if you worked in an enterprise before, you must know enterprises define set of governance rules, compliance rules, and individuals within the organization, they stick to these rules. Now, imagine if you remove human in the loop and make AI agents completely autonomous, they can definitely fix the issue for you, but they might bypass the compliance rules and fix the issue for your organization. Let's take an example. Imagine an EC2 instance crashed due to resources. Now there are two different ways how this issue can be addressed. One, you can implement auto scaling. Two, you can instantly scale up the resources. If it's a human, that is, if it's a DevOps engineer, DevOps engineer would validate both of these solutions and go for a solution which is good for the organization according to the organization standard, complaints, any other reasons. But when it comes to AI agent, AI agent would make the decision and it is not very clear why AI agent made the decision. If you have a human in loop, then AI agent would request the DevOps engineer to approve one of the approaches. That's why human in the loop is very important for governance. Drawback number two, the overconfidence bias. So basically, AI agents are like overconfident software engineers at times. Let's take an example. Imagine your organization wants to perform cloud migration. Now you ask an AI agent, it would definitely tell you, yeah, we can achieve this in no time, but you ask the same thing to an experienced DevOps engineer. The experienced DevOps engineer would calculate all the challenges. You know, there might be some stateful databases. There might be some huge file systems. So an experienced DevOps engineer would go back, probably prepare an Excel sheet, define multiple stages of migration, and come up with the challenges and a proper time frame. Of course, an DevOps engineer with combination of AI agent can perform this task better. But if you leave this task to AI agents autonomously, they might come up with a very strict timelines and they might mess up the complete cloud migration strategy. The only reason is that AI agents are always confident about the things. Drawback number three, maintainability challenges. Now again, this is very important, especially in the space of DevOps. Because in DevOps, AI agents don't reduce the complexity, but when left autonomously, they only increase the complexity. Let's take an example. Imagine you want an AI agent to build the CI-CD system. Most of the times, AI agents, because they depend on the data, they look at various sources, they definitely write the pipeline for you, but most likely they use old version of the packages. If you take GitHub Actions, for example, they might use the checkout action, but old version of the checkout action. 
Now, the problem with this approach, just after three months or four months, the package might be deprecated and your CI-CD pipeline starts breaking. Now, a lot of people think AI agents is one-time activity. They set up the CI-CD pipeline and they keep running for a long time. But soon after three months, four months, as the CI-CD pipeline breaks, you need a human. That is, you need a DevOps engineer to analyze the failure and probably take help from an agent or internet to update the package version and fix it. So maintainability challenges are huge with AI agents. You definitely need a human in loop to approve the CI-CD pipeline and constantly maintain this CI-CD pipelines. CI-CD is just an example. Every task that you take in the space of DevOps and cloud, a human in loop is definitely required. Now the fifth drawback, this is actually very personal to all of us. Now when you start using AI agents, making them completely autonomous, there is a major problem for humans. That is, humans stop thinking. Now this is quite sensitive, but if you think deeper, imagine you start a company, you ask AI agent to write the code, then you ask AI agent to build the CI-CD pipeline. Down the line, let's say there is a very simple fix. You know, there is a very small production issue because you don't know the code, because you don't know the CI-CD pipeline that is written, you cannot help yourself, but all that you have to do is to go to the AI agent and ask it to fix the system. So down the line, there is a problem that humans might stop thinking and start acting with AI agents. This is a major concern because end of the day, only if you understand how the code is written, only if you understand how the pipelines are written, you can guide the agents better. Once you stop understanding these things, you completely rely on them and you just believe the actions that these agents take. Now, on top of all of these things, especially when you come to enterprises, there is an additional challenge that is accountability. For us, accountability is very important today. Let's say there is a production issue. You know who is accountable today. You know, you dedicate a DevOps engineer, you dedicate a developer, and you ask them to fix the issue. On a timely basis, you can ask them what is the status of the fix. But imagine you build the system with agents, you build the infrastructure with agents, and something goes wrong in the production. Who is accountable for it? You know, your company might run into losses. You might end up into a loss-making company. And who is accountable for it? It's just the AI agent. Definitely, you cannot make them accountable and you cannot make them responsible. So this is another important thing when it comes to enterprises. So these are some of the challenges. These are some of the drawbacks. I'm pretty sure, you know, there are many other, but considering the most important ones, I'm making this video. Now, if you feel there is something that I missed, do let me know in the comment section. I'm very happy to engage in a conversation on this discussion. And please share this video with everyone in your network to make them understand human in loop is very important going ahead. It's not that five years down the line, two years down the line, AI agents are going to replace DevOps instance, but it is that DevOps instance are going to use these AI agents to build a better tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching today's video. See you all in the next one. Take care.